right, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome so much to Keep It PG, an R-rated musical. Uh, unfortunately, as you all know, we had to uh, shut down most of our shows due to the upcoming lockdown. So you guys are going to be some of the only people who actually get to experience this live for the foreseeable future, which is really cool. This is also going to be the last performance we do for a while, uh, which is really cool. You guys get to see all of that kind of energy here. Uh, also, as I stated, we are filming. We've got cameras here, here, and occasionally back there. So make sure that you are laughing and clapping and giving all the energy possible so that it sounds like we're doing a really good job. Um, uh, this is an original. We, uh, this show has been in production for over a year now, 13 months we've been working on this. Uh, and it's just, I'm so glad that the cast gets to show you guys. You guys are the people who are the most important to the cast to have here. Just so you guys know, it's like a nice sort of... I was like, you guys only get like some very, very few people. You guys were who they chose, so... So that's kind of sweet. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so make sure to give all of your energy, you know, really enjoy it. And uh, I am going to start the show, so please enjoy Keep It PG and R Rated Musical. Not the spin cycle! Hi, 
I'm Ivan. Ivan to suck your blood. This is my real name! A recently graduated cause of the study of hematology. That's a study of blood if you guys are associated with damn culture. <laughs> so on the show because my stupid mom wanted me to get out of the house. She doesn't understand that vampires like me can't be in the sun before the 10 minutes before we turn to dust. So I get this stupid hat. So I think my parents had in their stupid suburban white bread household. Oh, non-existing God, I hate my life. Smith, John Smith. You know, I entered this competition to fund my lifelong dream of giving every little baby otter a home. I used to be a car salesman until my mom got sick. How did I pay for her medical bills? By becoming the Hollywood star I am today, I know. How can it be so selfless and so handsome? And I'll tell you how. Old Spice. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Dick Ryder and I, I'm a true blue little Australian and you may know me from my reality TV show. Don't touch that! It's dangerous, right? Fine. Very dangerous things, don't touch them. Let's see, looky there, right there, right there, that's a death fly. And see, death flies are very scary creatures. One more! Send all of you into a coma. I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> Where the only rule they told us is keep it PG. PG. Oh, just keep it PG. 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 Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our first round. We're going to compete in a fun-filled, not-so-original game called Answer That Question! So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to pick a question, and whoever decides to press the buzzer first gets to answer. Um, do we get points for the question? Question one, brushing your teeth or wiping your butt, which one would you give up and why? <laughs> True. Uh, I'm sorry, but it wasn't a true or false question. The question was, which would you give up and why? Do I have to pick only one? <laughs> that, that, that's correct! The answer was both, because either one would make you a disgusting human being, so Dude. the other would become completely pointless. You get a gold trophy. <laughs> Alright, next question. If a Smurf starts to choke, what color does it become? Where are you getting these questions? They turn into a deep and gorgeous and sexy shade of purple, Ryan. That's correct! <laughs> and voice of John Smith, just try not to say words like that in the future, after all. This is a family show. Our viewers don't like that kind of language. I'm so, so very sorry, Ryan. Um, so what's the point system again? Or One last question. When was the War of 1812? <laughs> what? Yeah! What? What is it good for? Good answer. Two golden stars. Golden okay. stars? Okay, next question. Is it better to be super small or super large? <laughs> the size doesn't matter. That's correct, Dick. Size doesn't matter. Good point, Dick. Size doesn't matter. That's all right, all right, all right. All right, you get a blue ribbon, okay. Blue ribbon? What? Next question. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Six, six, six. The number of my lord. That's correct. One gold trophy. Ladies and that's our game. Ladies and gentlemen, to recap, Dick Ryder has one blue ribbon. Blaze Kush has one gold trophy. Leonard Puppet Kenneth has two golden stars, and John Smith has ten points. That means the only two being eliminated this round are Georgie Sensemaker and Ivan DeSuckyblood. <laughs> we'll be right back after a word from these sponsors. I still don't understand the rules of the game we just played. <laughs> Just chill here until I'm done filming. It should only be another hour or so. 
I was cheated. I hate society. Sorry, kid. I'm not a kid. I'm 19. Oh, and a half. Hey. Ew. <laughs> so, come here often? Was that a joke? Uh, yeah, just trying to ease the uncomfortable tension a bit. I thrive on uncomfortable tension. Um, okay. Uh, well, how much does a polar bear weigh? I don't know. I don't care. And frankly, you can die. Enough to break the ice. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> you disgust me. We're gonna be here for an hour, so we may as well get to know each other, right? Fight me. Your name's Ivan, right? Is that Russian? No. Well, where are you from? Heaven, if you want to call it that. Well, that sounds nice. But that sounds nice. Fine, be that way. Fine, I will. <laughs> Ivan? What? I really like your outfit. Really? Yeah, it's cool. It makes you look tough and edgy. I wish I could be like that. This isn't just the way I dress, Georgie. It's not to make me seem tough. It isn't? No, you dipshit! Well, I don't agree with your use of foul language! Fuck you! This is supposed to be a PG-rated game show experience! Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? Fuck, 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 no. and you fuck uh, these uh, shit motherfuckers! The words are saying it! Yeah, say it in God! Say it in God! Fuck you! Hey, 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 hey. What is, what's going on? Slightly challenged the beliefs of a Christian. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get, um. I really don't get paid enough to do this. Can you just get get up? Yep. Good. Come. Yep. Thank you. All right. In our last challenge, contestants battled using their brains, but now they will battle using their strength and skills of combat. In this challenge, the contestants will do to the death at our. Not to the death, I have to say that for legal purposes. They will duel until one hits the other in the chest or head. All right, for our first round, we have the Vegemite Victor, the Down of the Dominator, the Australian Thunderstorm, Dick Rennie! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, is this cardboard? Are you fucking serious right now? First is the Sanctified Star, the Blood Lesting Doobie Brother, the Man with the Monkey's Blaze Horn!
challenge, our two finalists will compete in the ultimate eating challenge. Each player will be served dish after dish and can only move on once they've completed some of what's on their plate. The contestant who completes the most dishes wins the entire game show and will be named the ultimate one hour television star. All right, literally a professional dealing with disgusting things. You're such a heathen. You are awful. You're a dick. You make me want to vomit. You're a sellout. You're a dick. And you are out of luck. Cause I will win this game show. And my nuts, you can suck. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the point is, I'm better than you. I'm, I'm really stronger, stronger, bigger, faster. I'm handling it. I'm healthier. I'm the one who's fit to win. You believe that I'm clearly better. Hey, he has a steak, for God's sakes. So what? You concede? Never. Hold. The steak is unsalted. You cheated! No, I didn't! The steak is overdone! This burger is disgusting! Then why don't you give up? I'll never go suck off your mother! <laughs> I'm better than you! I'm clearly stronger! You're faster! Literally, how much more annoying can you be? Whatever it takes to be better. Um, this isn't even food. What? You're gonna claim this game is rigged. <laughs> Democrat? I am, actually. You call me! You racist! Why are you the worst? Old man? Offended? I hate you so much, it hurts me. Uh, I... Is this just the petri dish of gonorrhea? My water doesn't have any ice in it. I... Thanks, man. I... I can't eat this. Look at that. So then give up. Fine. I give up. You win. I'm clearly better. Is that it? We're like done already. Yeah. What? What a, what a lame bitch. Can you eat this to prove that? All right, it's everyone. Fun. So the helicopter should be coming to get us any second now. And I'm surprised the city can afford to send a helicopter based on what's left of the budget. But. <laughs> well, I hope those helicopters get here soon. Those clouds, they don't look too good. Oh, mate, 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 just don't even try right now. Those clouds are fine. I did an episode on my show all about different types of clouds. Now, see, once I was on a commercial where I played a weather forecaster. In this commercial, I told people it would rain, and then it rained. That doesn't really count as experience. Your mom doesn't count as an experience. Luckily, when it does rain, they'll still come and get me. I'm just way too valuable for the network. No, you're not. See? Now, as long as there's no thunder or lightning, they should still come and get us, or me at least. Oh, Hello, Mr. Producer. All, all night, but sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, I'll, I'll tell them. On the phone. Well, um, that was that was the producer. And? and and his assistant. And what did he say? Due to unforeseen circumstances, the helicopters won't be able to get us until tomorrow morning. What? What? You think I'm gonna be stuck in the rain all night? Mike! Roll pin! Hey! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Okay, if we're gonna stay here till tomorrow morning, we need to figure out our priorities. First things first, does anyone have any survival skills? Oh, I, I do. do. No, I do. What the hell do you know about surviving overnight on an island with a contestant's crew and host of a game show? Stop copying me! No, you, you stop, stop copying, copying me! me. Guys, you two are acting like children. Yeah! Don't we have a reason to? Look around. It's a goddamn nightmare! Yeah, it's a nightmare as long as I'm stuck here with hey, you. Hey, we're all stuck no, no, no. here. No, no, no. You know what else rhymes with, with stuck? <laughs> we gotta keep it PG. Sing it, sing it. PG.
show's over. What are you filming for? I'm actually YouTube live streaming this right now. It's getting more views than this stupid game show I forgot. <laughs> but are, are you sure you can do that without their consent? It's only one night. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> okay. to leave them on the island overnight. This is gonna be a PR nightmare. Well, maybe we can just pay him off and try to avoid a lawsuit. Pay them off with what money? The studio is this close to bankruptcy. One episode away, and from what I can tell, this is that episode. Guys! You're not gonna believe this! What? One of your cameramen kept filming after they told to cut the cameras and they'd live stream the footage. Okay, and? It's crazy, the clip has gone completely viral. This unedited clip of the contestants going crazy has gotten better ratings and more views than any game show we've ever put out. Wait, I think I have an idea on how to save this company and all of our jobs. What is it? Well, it's not exactly legal. Who cares if it's legal? Well, we leave them on the island, but we do not tell them why, and we send orders to the techies who will and we keep the cameras rolling, but we do not let them know. So we control the drama and our ratings, they will grow. So what do you think? We leave them on the island, but we do not tell them why. And we send orders to the techies who will carry out our lives. And we keep the cameras rolling, but we do not let them know. So we control the drama, but it's not exactly legal. So we're gonna manipulate them for ratings? Exactly. I have an idea. What if we advertise products on the show as it gains popularity? And guess what big representative we have on the show? Who? John Smith, the spokesperson for Old Spice. We don't own the Old Spice jingle, but we'll use it anyway. This is copyright infringement. We just need a theme, but it's not exactly legal. Oh, oh. Yeah. All oh, right, so you know how everyone loves the quirky, kind of out there character? Of course. Well, Leonard is the perfect one. All it would take is just one little push. Absolutely genius. We turn the man with the sock into a nut. and comedy, why don't we send Dick on his first drug trip, accompanied by Blaze? And how would we go about that? Well, I know that Dick wouldn't be super hard to convince if we convinced Blaze, and I have a pretty good idea of what we could do. We plan shrooms all around the set. Blaze will see if Dick gives in. That might be our strongest bet. Drugs aren't hard to get, but they're not exactly legal. Okay, so, uh, so I have an idea too. Um, I'm thinking, what if we make Ivan and Georgie a couple? What? what? <laughs> uh, okay, so hey, hear me out here. Um, so plenty of directors love to put gay couples into their stories to satisfy the gay community, but we can censor them, you know, so we don't have to give them any meaningful representation. See, I think it's a win-win, but it's not exactly Christian. <laughs> Although on television, it is seen by some as wrong. In the name of representation, they won't be straight for long, but that's not Christian. <laughs> we can make them however we want to, cause there's nothing in our way. to make them gay! 
Mr. Producer. Yeah, everything's good here. Can't wait to get home, though. Wait, but you can't just... Yes, sir. Can I at least tell the contestants? No. All right, you want me to... What? Okay, um... John Smith the brand. Leonard's pretty crazy already, um... You want me to do what to Ivan Georgie? Give Dick and Blaze drugs? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. When will you come get... so hard to get where I am. I'm a personality on television, but what they're asking me to do, I just don't know if I can go through with it. I just feel so trapped, like, like I'm just... Saying, are you saying we're stuck here? For how long? Um, uh, what? Yeah. Why won't they get us? Uh, because, because, um, because, 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 at Harvard University, where I went to school. I learned about... What sucks? Shut up! Tent making and toilet Shut paper... Shut up! Hey! Shush! Hey! Oh. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna get food. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, I'm pretty hungry, too. I'll come with you. Perfect. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh. I guess it just leaves you two to go get some firewood. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, what? 
ghost. We go into that woods together. The cops will never find his body. Wait, why not? <laughs> These trees are too big to be cut down without any real tools. I suppose we can make one out of sticks, but I just don't see any around here. Good thing I came prepared. I beg your pardon. We have logs! Logs. Like you saw somewhere on the island that has logs? No. Blanket logs! You can't be serious. We can't possibly make a shelter out of these. You're just scared. Cause you know I'm a Lincoln Log Master. <laughs> How could I possibly know that? This is like our first conversation we're having. Just start building, douchebag. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'll start off with this uh, roomy interior, give it a nice uh, feng shui feel to it. <laughs> I don't know what fish stick on a stick means. My design is an actual shelter. Yeah, that's real cute. Oh, you're pretty good at that. But mine is clearly better. I'm just a much better architect. <laughs> you could have built a decent shelter to try. That's right, Kenneth. You know, it really is convenient that I brought my Lincoln log so we could do this. <laughs> yeah, I was actually wondering about that. Do you just bring Lincoln logs with you wherever you go? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Leonard, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yeah, what's that? What's with the sock? <laughs> Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Dude, it's a grown man talking to a sock. I just kind of figured there was a reason. <laughs> we've been... We've been best friends for a long time. When the other kids wouldn't talk to Leonard, I was always there for him. Hey, shut up, Kenneth! Ow! Ah, no! <laughs> so, Leonard... What do you do for a living? Well, I work in a very interesting industry. And, well, let's just say Kenneth here does most of the work. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, like what kind of industry? Well, let's just say that my hand usually cramps afterward, which makes the camera <laughs> oh, <no>. hard. <laughs> to turn off. But the film, worth it. <laughs> Your hand cramps? Well, yeah. But my clients don't mind if my hand cramps a little since it relaxes them. Oh, so much. I loosen them right up. <laughs> so you're, uh, <laughs> one of the Massage therapists, yes. I make tutorial videos on my massages to help beginners learn my techniques. <laughs> massage videos! Yay! That's wonderful to hear. Except, oh. <laughs> I provide a, a special service for my, <laughs> for my extra special clients. <coughs> oh, oh, God. What kind of service? Well, let's just say they. They always leave satisfied. They can't even move their fingers when we're done with them. They can't move their fingers. Yeah, we charge it. Manicures, but they're worth it. Pretty nails, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's all you do, right? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, must be can you have sex with them. How about we build 
in silence for a little bit, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful it is. <laughs> it's all right. My design will actually stand up straight, though. Look! What the fuck is that? <laughs> Language! Uh, I see that was clearly just the wind. Uh, look at how beautiful mine is. Yikes. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> look at how beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what kind of game you but I don't like it. You're cheating! Just like you cheated in the dueling game. For some reason, the tech crew on the show wants you to look like some sort of hero, and I'm not buying it! Listen, man, there's no games, there's no cheating going on around here. I'm just a better builder than you are. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. We're, we're watching you. Sure thing, man. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Hey! Hey! Hi, honey. How hey! How is being home today? Hey! Today. This is bullshit! Burn Wait. Get back. Don't make me use my safety pin on you. <laughs> Why do you have a safety pin? Because a Hollywood actor always comes prepared. <laughs> <laughs> on the ground, and the ground's right there. And there. And there. Please. Wow. Calm, hey, hey, calm down. No. Calm down. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those are edible. Right <laughs> I know a lot about those. My mom taught me how to make them just right. Oh, those are shrooms. Like, what, what you gotta do is hand mash them and then put them in your room so your mom can have some alone time with the mailman. <laughs> Just give me a second, please. I need to see if we can eat these. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. We can eat these. They're edible. Oh. Here you go. You said so. All right. I, I'm, I'm telling you, they are. I promise. See? I oh. told you. These are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, you really know nothing about nature. Oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. What? 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 If you take a grape and a raspberry, you just like it's like a hat. Oh! <laughs> just get see. Yeah, yeah, see, it's yeah, funny yeah. because. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was funny. Ah. Oh. I can't feel my fucking torso, man. <laughs> okay, I better my, feel it. My torso feels like a ramen noodle right now. <laughs> and it's scaring me. That's stage one, my guy. Oh, 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 oh. feel this in. Oh, no, my guy. I got, I got my torso. Hey, no, it's a, it's a firm in the park. Oh, the thing's like on the back of the butterfly. Like wow. Yeah. Wow, it's man. It's hey. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
getting increasingly nauseating. I don't know, I kind of like it. It reminds me of... What, were you, were you expecting me to ask you whatever this reminds you of? Was it way for us to bond with each other and sharing our pasts? Because that's a societal norm and I don't subscribe to those. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? No. Okay, here goes nothing. Do you hate me just because I'm Christian? Yeah, pretty much. Why? What do, you, what do you mean? My whole life I was practically raised in the church. My entire family raised me to be a good Christian and follow the morals that my religion teaches. What's wrong with that? Christianity is a homophobic cult which molds children into perfect cutouts by drowning out their individualities with heaping piles of guilt and fake stories written thousands of years ago. I know. You know? I mean, I know it's kind of culty, but who cares? I choose to believe in God because it gives me comfort and hope to know that there's someone up there looking out for me. I don't care if any of it's real or not. It's my choice. Aren't you liberals all about being pro-choice? That's not what being pro-choice means. Who cares? You have no idea what it's like to hide yourself from your friends, your family, and your God. My entire life is a constant lie that I can never set straight. What do you mean? Nothing. There's nothing. You got a hand to you. You're not as stuck up as I thought. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I can't do this. That's fine, I didn't want to kiss you anyway. Good. Fine. Come on, guys, we gotta get these two together like the producer's ordered. Lynn! 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 What's going on? Lynn! What's going on here? I think God's trying to tell us something. No, he's not. I think he's trying to tell us that he doesn't actually hate Casey. He just wants us to be happy, whatever it takes. What are you talking about? Yes, it is I. <laughs> I approve of the gay. Now I tell you, I don't care what you do. As long as it's true to your heart. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs>
Perfect. What? But how did you... Did you not hear the helicopter noise? I love what you've done with the place. You know, ratings are through the roof. Everything's going great. You have to understand what you're doing here is wrong. Filming, manipulating people on camera? Yeah, they all seem pretty content. The two of them were in a fist fight. Two of them were passed up from a shrimp trip, and two of them are cuddling. Yeah, welcome to the world of reality TV, my friend. You can't force me to go along with this. Can't I? Who are you but a kid? A pathetic stump of a host, but who's the person who tells the most? You. No, exactly, yeah, me. <laughs> I have all the control, and you know that I pay you too, except there's nothing that you can to me. I am your whole career. They all belong to me, which is why they'll stay right here. You belong to me. I decide your every move. So working here for me is what you'll have to Top, making all the choices yourself about what's right or wrong, legal or illegal, but right here, right now, you belong to me, and you're going to keep this show running perfectly, or it's your job on the line. I understand. Good. I know you won't disappoint me. Hello, contestants! How did you sleep? What? What? Ryan! 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 Yeah, I'm here, yeah. You better be straight with us right now! What is going on? We deserve to know. Yeah. Alright, you guys, you guys deserve the truth. Why do we? Shut up, Kenneth! The man is talking! Tell me to shut up one more time, you fat motherfucker! You slimy bald! <laughs> Sorry, Ryan, you may continue. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> Guess what time it is! Uh, yeah, man. Blaze found more food. My dad left me and my mom when I was born. <laughs> Got your nose. <laughs> Do you guys want to know why you're not? You're disgusted, you capitalist Hollywood sellout. You're just jealous because I'm successful. We're stuck here for the whole week. Oh, uh, right, uh, right, right, right. Hey, did he say a week? That's long before I drove my junior year of high school. I can't. I can't stay here a whole week. <laughs>
I know it's been a while since you've seen our contestants, so I'll let them catch you up on what you might have missed. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'll be finding shrooms everywhere in this blessed island. So I, I, I don't even know what's real or, or not. For me, at least, these two weeks haven't been all that bad. I made a new friend, and we've been getting along really well. I made Kenneth this hat out of a pair of underwear I found lying next to where Georgie sleeps. I love it! I lost my underwear a week ago, and I have no idea where it's gone. <laughs> it kind of sucks, because I've been getting a lot of chafing down there on the balls. <laughs> Somebody, please! Anybody, I want to go home to be or not to be tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Come away. Come away, death and its sad cypress. Let me be late. Oh, Johnny being a diva again. Jesus Christ, I can't deal with you. I can't believe we've only been here for two, two freaking weeks. We've been stuck here for two weeks, and we're, we, the guy who knows why we're here, I need to go find him. And he's not coming back unless I'll bring you back. Wait! What, John? I'm coming with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, firstly, it's John Smith, not John. <laughs> and secondly, I'm coming with you. I can find him so much faster than you can. See, once I was on a commercial where I learned all about survival and stuff like that. So I know, know a lot about nature and stuff. Mate, mate, you spend 24 hours a day either on a screen or looking at one. What could you possibly know about nature? Well, personally, I know that bush you're standing in is stinging nettle. I knew that. See, I, I, I chose to stand in the stinging nettle because it's, it has properties. Because stinging nettle has healing properties that treat enlarged prostate symptoms. What disease? Yes, <laughs> Shut up, Kenneth. That's not even what a prostate is. Then what is it? I, I don't know. I know what I'm doing. And if you will kindly excuse me, I'm going to itch my leg now. God. Here, man. Try this. Wow! Instant relief! What is this? This here is Old Spice Anti-Irritant <laughs> Cream. Endorsed by yours truly, John Anastasia Smith. Mate! The camera's off. What are you doing? You never know where the paparazzi are hiding. So, can I come with you? Fine, but stay out of my way, please. Yes. Hey, and by the way, just in case we need it, I have this safety pin. Why do you have a safety pin? Because a Hollywood actor always comes prepared. <laughs> Georgie, before I forget, you have the most brain cells of all these idiots. Do you mind keeping them alive while we're gone? Thanks. I mean, yes. I mean, okay. Okay. All right, whatever. We're gonna be, we'll try and be back before nightfall. And now we wait. Okay. Nah. Oh. Ryan! Ryan! Ryan, I'm yelling much louder than Dick in case you can't hear, Dick. <laughs> Why do you have to be like that? Like what? A dick? Yeah! A fucking shit! I mean, why do you even go by that nickname anyway? Why not go by Rich? See, I would rather have my name be Dick than have it to anything to do with people wanting you. What the hell do you mean, people like me? Hollywood attention whores who would sell their soul for more screen time. Is that really what you think of me? Haven't proven me wrong yet. But, 
But what about my mission for the baby otters? Just because you say it's a good press doesn't really mean you care about it. What? Like you haven't lied to your fans, dick? What's that supposed to mean? I read up on you, Ryder. You preach all about knowing about nature and survival skills, but it's all just camera effects and props. That bush you were standing in wasn't even stinging nettle. I was testing you, and you proved me right. You're nothing but a fake. How dare you? You haven't spent a whole snow on self penny in your whole life. Why are you even here, Dick? Why are you even on this game show? You've got money, you've got fame. Why are you even here? Say the same to you, asshole. No, you couldn't. Excuse me. I'm broke, Dick. I haven't had a real job in years. Old Spice is even thinking about replacing me. I kind of figured maybe if I get on this competition, I could maybe put myself back on the map a little bit. Wow. I mean, I guess neither of us is really the celebrity we pretend to be. You know, back when I was just a little dick rider, you know, it was much easier back then, you know? All I had to do was, you know, play with a snake or like, start a fire, but like, you know, the viewers, they always want more and more, right? So, you know, as I grew older, I had to become this, faking, becoming this incredible survivalist. Man, guess I'm no better than you when I think about it. I once had potential that much is true and my reputation's on the line I thought I was better much better than you now I respect your show and all you I could be the one, a stranger to having fun, who knew, the one that conceals my face, to cover up my mistakes, who knew. I used to be special. charm and I used to have a will to live they say I'm authentic but none of it's true it's all made up by the camera I could be the one, a stranger to having fun, who knew, the one that conceals my face, to cover up my mistakes, who knew, it's easy to see we're the same you and me, I thought me. that you were a dick, Stand side by side, we can maybe survive. This could be our second chance to break through. To leave everything behind and start new. Who knew? Who knew?
I'm bored. This place is boring. I kind of like just sitting out here and enjoying nature. Yeah, well, so did cavemen before they invented indoors. I'm sunburned, I got bug bites everywhere, and I haven't listened to any good music. Try to find a new ways to enjoy yourself. What do you- Like we do! What do you mean? Well, you can use a sock for a lot of different things. Like what? Like a whole lot of crazy, incredible things. How? <laughs> Just put it on your hand. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> and say proudly, it's my sock and me. My sock and me. My sock and me were the best of cohorts. And makes it fun to play one at its sports. He's my number one <laughs> wingman, my best friend too. Just like your sock and you. My socks are just objects, they stay on my feet. And if you're wearing flip-flops, they're so obsolete. But none of that is true, as you're sure to see. Oh. A sock can be used in so many ways. Maybe even more than anyone could say. Hey, look at here. This plane has no bugs. I could use a sock while hiding my dress. Socks are just objects, they are nothing else. They can't do your bills or insure your house. But you know what they can do. What? Goddamn game show. It means they've been watching and controlling us this whole time. What I don't understand is why. I, I may be able to answer. Ah! Bigfoot! Ryan Seacrest! Bigfoot! Ryan Seacrest! Bigfoot! Ryan Seacrest! No! Uh, Ryan! Where have you been, Mike? We've been looking for you. I've been hiding from them. They want our stuff. I'm sorry. It's home. Ryan, what's going on? The first night we were here, one of the techies live streamed the chaos and the footage went viral. Since then, the producers have kept you here to keep the ratings up and even try to get me to manipulate you guys into all these different scenarios and, um... It's all right, man, it's all right. What matters now is how we fix this. I'll, 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 I'll call the authorities. As soon as I don't work for him, they won't work for me anymore. I, I won't work for him anymore and I can call the authorities. They're supposed to come back tomorrow night. Then we'll be here waiting for him. Mike, it's really brave of you to quit your job to help us with this thing. The least I could do is help fix the mistakes that I did. You're a good man, Ron Ash, Chris. I will be soon. Right now, 
You know who I am? John, a uh, washed up has been whose toxic masculinity can't give up on the suave celebrity you haven't been in a long time. When's the last time you booked a gig, John? The 80s? Yeah, man. Blaze Kush. <laughs> you have nothing, you are nothing, and you will always be nothing. How long was it before your mom kicked you out of the house because she couldn't stand to be around you anymore? You're a junior year of high school, right? How long you been living on the streets, Blaze? Two years? Three? You killed my high, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan to suck your blood, or should I say your real name? Sonny Johnson. Guess there's not a lot of vampires that go by the name Sonny, are there? You are a social outcast, and not in the cool way you think either. Literally just no one likes you, not even your family. Hey, fuck you, asshole. Silence him. Hey, leave him alone! <laughs> Georgie Sensemaker, what a disappointment. Your family actually did love you, didn't they? And they wanted the absolute best for you. All you had to do was be the perfect little Christian boy, grow up to be the perfect little Christian man. You couldn't even do that, could you? And now your poor wife, sorry, sorry, your poor ex-wife has to watch while you go against everything you've stood by, and on national television, no less. I'm a good person. You're almost as insane as this one, Leonard! A delusional loser who created a best friend out of a sock because no one else could stand to be around you. You, my friend, should be in an insane asylum. You know, most people outgrow their imaginary friends way before they get to their 40s. No, that's not true. Kenneth is real. I'm real! I'm real! I, 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 no! 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 He killed Kenneth! Leader to these people, you're not. You're no better than the rest of these mistakes. Oh, fuck you, then. That's no better. All right, nice. Arthur, you made your point. Just send us home now. Home? You think I'm going to send you home where you can tell everyone about all the illegal stuff that's going on here? No, no, no. I think we'd all be much better off if you all stay here while I make money off of ad revenue. You maniac. I'm going to fix what I've done. I'd rather die than let under your thumb. Have it your way. Oh, oh my God! Oh! No! What did you do? Ah, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Yeah, ah. yeah. If you guys like don't keep this show running, Ryan won't be the only one who dies for their job. I can't believe you actually just did that. You want me now? Hey, get that gun out of his face, you fucking asshole! I can't believe this. You two actually think you fell in love, don't you? No. Your love was just a little movie magic we thought would add a little flair to the show. No, that's not true. I assure you it is. Now, I'm gonna let you all get back to uh, my show, but I'll be sticking around on the island for a little bit, you know, to make sure everything goes according to plan. You, all of you, belong to me. Oh, and this is a family-friendly network, so make sure you keep it PG. Uh, well, great. Hey, my hat! Get are trying to hold us out as long as they can. Should have applied for that manager position. Yeah, we should have left these jobs a long time ago. Right. Hey, can I be honest with you guys? Yeah, of course. This whole thing just feels wrong. I agree. I feel bad for the cast. Forget the cast. I just want to go home. If I didn't need the money, I would already be gone. What are you complaining for? You know what? This whole mess is your fault. If you hadn't live streamed the first night we were stuck here, none of this would have ever happened. It's not my fault the producer's an ass. I just want to go home. Hey, we all want to go home. This whole show is just wrong. Well, then why don't we do something about it? What do you mean? I mean, we help them. We can't! You saw what they did to Ocean Crest? But this, this is wrong. Do you not see the problem? Of course we see it, but what can we do? I can't pay my bills without this job. If none of you will find a way to help them, I will. I can, I can play live feed through a back channel over the main signal. 
so we can let the media know what's actually going on. Come on, guys, we can do it. Guys? We can't. What? I'm sorry, but we need these jobs. What do you mean? Guys, what do you mean? stuck on an island, slowly losing my mind. But at least I've got Old Spice to keep me smelling nice. And I've got Geico car insurance. Why, why is this an app? We don't have cars here. Just read it. Because even on an island, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. <laughs> Kenneth? Puppet company. Aww. Come on, guys, that's just cruel. Please just read the ads. Kind of puppet company. Where you two can make a new best friend. This is literally just a picture of my ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> CBD. Oh, oh, wait, that's weed, right? Well, no, it doesn't get you high. What? The part of marijuana that doesn't get you high? What's in the point of that? I'm not reading this. We don't have a choice, and neither do you. All right. It's using the hard way, aren't you? All right. XYZ's Game Show Network, where they treat their employees horribly and are violating hundreds of laws for their own personal greed. Luckily for you, that wasn't live. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Let's pray that again. All right. XYZ's Game Show Network. You guys killed an innocent man for standing up for himself. I'm warning you, Ryder. I don't even need this for this one. XYZ's Game Show Network, where you kiss my fucking ass! Try to let the media know? Doesn't the producer watch all the footage before it's broadcasted? Well, um, not necessarily. See, I know how to hook a camera up to a back channel, and it'll broadcast over the main signal without the producer having any idea about it. My, I mean, that's, that's genius, but like, what do you need? Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, what's... Oh, you know what? If I could get my hands on one of those, uh, the, the show cameras, you know, that they're using, then I could broadcast the signal in minutes. <laughs> oh, I have one! I have one! I swear I do! I, 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 I gave it to Georgie. Fucking shit! But that's still amazing! If you can get me that camera, and we can get out of here, we can, we can expose what's actually going on. We could. Don't even say butt right now. Don't even. But they can just play it off like it was just too much for us. You know, they could easily make it seem like it was an online prank or being stuck on an island was too traumatizing. That's insane. I think it is. Is it insane? 
I've been in the media circuit for years. If they can convince you Kevin Hart's funny, they can convince you of anything. <laughs> Some of this is right. Kevin Hart is Kevin not Hart. funny. What we really need <laughs> is some way to get them to stop watching the show. Just all together. But, I got you back with that one. We need to get out of here somehow. You know? If only we could pick that lock over there. You need something, like something small and... And sharp? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What? Um, yes. Idiot. Oh. <laughs> A Hollywood nice. actor always comes prepared. Shut up. I've heard that too many times this week. <laughs> <laughs> can you get it? Can you pick it? Yes, I can pick it. Get the fuck over here. Oh. 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 I guess I should go into the woods and find some fruit, honey bunches. That sounds good, my handsome man. The days are so long, and the nights, they are so cold. I think I might be losing my mind. Ever since Kenneth died. Stay on script. You're supposed to be the crazy nutcase villain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel particularly murderous today. <laughs> I feel like rage and evil embodied. <laughs> At any moment, I might kill someone. Rawr. <laughs> I, I really don't know what they want from me. I can't read. <laughs> you never learned how to Dude, I draw my junior year of high school. Read to learn. You learn in my like, kindergarten. Please, 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 Guys, I'm free! I'll be back in a sec! Yeah, Joe's like Thanksgiving! Hey, I got it! Ooh, all hooked up! Now well, let's get off this! Let's get the show off the air for good! Sometimes in life, you gotta say what's on your mind. Regardless of vulgarness, offensive words, or even crimes. I know they want us to be civil and act a certain way. But honestly, I say, fuck parental guidance. God damn it. Oh, you go damn. Oh, I hate you. Oh. Guys, the camera is broken. They fly past this signal. And then the whole world's watching. Only one way we can get no one else to watch the show ever again. We gotta offend the shit out of them. I uh, used to work in Hollywood, the people there are bums. From catcalling to chasing girls, we do it just for fun. Sometimes we'd go and grab an ass and get kicked in the nuts, cause that's what women are good for. Nothing but their butts. I don't know if that's necessary. We just lost half of our female Democrat viewership. I get the idea. Jesus was an alien sent from outer space. The world is overrun by his Christian fan base. They think that gays are bad, and they think they'll burn in hell. So here's a kiss for all of you. I hope it suits you well. We just lost half of our Christian viewership. Big guy, give it up! This show I made me recognize the error of my ways. I had not been sober for over 14 days, but I have decided to take a big step. Cause now I'm switching my addiction to sex. All premarital! Just glue. No reason to look into that anymore. 
anymore. <laughs> now here's you all Republicans and all of your fake news. Crazy, you believe whatever lies fed to you. And Democrats, you're just as bad though. You don't think it's true. Anyone offended? Fuck you! Our viewers from among all white men just dropped significantly as well as our number of teenagers. Fuck parental guidance and fuck anybody who's still here. Fuck the patriarchy and anyone who hates the queen. Me too! Fuck parental guidance and anyone who doesn't smoke. Light up all you pussies. Knows next time I do coke. Fuck parental guidance. We know it might be hard to grasp. Here's to all the viewers. You can go ahead and kiss my ass. Fuck parental guidance. Fuck censor publication. Fuck all of the producers. Fuck one hour of television. Man. You want to get to my friend here, you got to get through me. And me. And me. And me. And me! You, well, they idiots, you idiots know bullets go through flesh, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got six bullets, one for each. Where's this? Where's Behind this? you, asshole! Oh, 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 I don't you think I'm going to without your consent. I, that is not how it went, mate. That's not one of the ways I remember it. Someone. Anyway, someone must have called the cops. But how? The only phone on the island is mine. I. You'll be behind bars for a long time, boss. You can't. On what charges? You can't prove I did anything illegal here. You kept us here against our will. Not to mention making us say things under the threat of death. You committed copyright infringement on the old Spice jingle. You tried to publicly destroy my image, which is slander. Yes. The consumption of illegal drugs, shrooms to be specific. And even you hadn't done all that. You, you, you killed Ryan Oceancrest in front of six people, all who I guarantee will testify in court. Now, how does that make you feel? You oh, mother. Fuck. <clears throat> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Hey, officer. I think you guys can send us a boat or a plane and get us off this island. Yeah, how long have you all been here? Long time, I'll say. Very, very long time. Give me one second. Wait. What are you doing? Something should have been done a very long time ago. What? What? Dude? What? What? Oh. Ah, yeah. Ryan was a very complicated guy. He was trapped by his job, and I kind of get why he did what he did. He was a good person in the end. And that's all that mattered. Blaze, are you sober right now? Yeah. Yeah, I am. It feels kind of odd. Well, trust me, Blaze. Take it from a guy constantly attached to, to something he doesn't need. You don't need them to be happy. Thanks. We're here for you, man. We always will be. Being stuck on an island is the kind of thing that changes people.
to this island with all this terrible drug. He wasn't selfish. And to think he did this all for us. He thought he was living out his dream. Z for all his worth and all became incredibly wealthy. They used the lessons they learned on the show to help themselves and others. And now signing off for the last time. Live your best life. I'm Ryan Ocean Crest and good night.
Hi guys. Hi. I'm Liz. Hi. Life is more than rolling blood, more than sex and snorting coke. I won't waste my life away. I know that I don't need to smoke. I can turn. There's no redness in my eyes I don't feel the press drag down And all it took was some advice And in hell, in heaven, and in hell. I, I do. do. You may now kiss the groom. Now I feel I found my place. I have all the friends I'll ever need. I don't need Kenneth as my brace. No sock, just me. Ah! <laughs> I never thought we'd end up friends. But now look where we are. I never knew we'd make amends Now I know we'll go far Welcome to Second Chance Game Show on Ocean Crest Network where six contestants will compete in a whole day of fucking crazy challenges and be home in time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we know life's work. We know it's purpose. Through working together and overcoming
like to thank, first of all, our designer, Gabby Sparks. Yeah, you <laughs> here she created and, and or made. Um, next, I would like to thank my sister, Alyssa Gordon. She's the uh, stage manager of the show. She also made those lovely playbills that you all And then next, uh, Benna Spots. She's our choreographer. All of the dance You know, what is a musical without music? I would like to give such a thank you to Ryan Tarbutton and Sasha Zaradnik. Yeah! Yeah! Every bit of music you heard was written by them. They wrote it. Yeah! Uh, and then I would also like to thank Kira Green. She plays uh, Ryan Ozencrest in the show. About three weeks before, like, ago, uh, the person we had in that role had to step out due to personal reasons. She was in it that day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, I would like to thank my parents for allowing us to do this here. For uh, thank you all so much, uh, and have a good night, or good day. Sorry, I'm used to saying good night because this is the first time we've actually done this during the day. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the show. And let's give it up for them one more time, please.